In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to block advertisements on Google Chrome. This browser is one of the most popular in the world. It is by far the most used. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to um, install an extension that blocks ads. So let's get into it. Now the extension that I used is called Adblock Plus, and as you can see, it's this icon right here, and it has blocked about 54k, um, 54,000 advertisements, trackers, etc. in total. So that's awesome. So we'll want to search for the Google Chrome Web Store. Once you find the website, click on it, and this is where you can get themes, extensions, and etc. for your browser. So let's search for Ad Block Plus, and as you can see, it has about 170,000 ratings, and it's a very popular app, especially on Firefox. On Firefox, there's about um, over 9 million users, including me, of course. Um, so once I've clicked on it, you can install it. You might need to restart your browser to, for it to take effect, but as you can see, there's 10 million plus users, 170,000 ratings, so it's very popular, famous, 4 point some stars. It's only 1.48 megabytes or so, so that's great. It blocks ads on YouTube, um, blocks pop-ups and fights malware, and I think it can block trackers maybe. So let's actually test this out. But before we do that, let's go to your ad block icon once you've installed it, push on the settings, and then you'll want to go to privacy and security, block both of those um, if you want. I'd recommend it, of course. Now there's also, you can allow acceptable ads, and that's ads that are not annoying and do not interfere with the content you are viewing. I uncheck that because I want to block all advertisements. I don't want to see any. Now you might want to allow that if you feel like you should. Now if there's ads that are blocking content, showing bad stuff, then I don't feel bad for blocking it. So that's something to think about. There's also another option. Um, I just leave that unchecked. Well what this does, it optimizes Adblock Plus for the languages you browse websites in. You can whitelist websites. You can um, add more customizations add filter lists and then you can get help so that's the settings end of it but let's actually test this out and see if it works so I'm gonna go to YouTube I'm going to search for something without ads so I'm gonna turn my ad blocker off and refresh the page to prove that there are ads and I'm gonna search for soccer and I'm gonna click on impossible saves and there's an ad right here. And there's an ad over here also. So let's go to turn on the ad block plus, refresh the page. And as you can see, it starts right with the video. There's no advertisements. So you can see it works there. Let's try blocking ads on a website like CNN. Um, I don't see any ads so far. And to check if it's really blocking ads, you can go up here and see how many are blocked on this page or in total. Let's try another website just to prove it even more. And I'm going to go to Fox News. No advertisements. And see, they even have a pop up. If you like our coverage, please disable your ad blocker and you can allow or X out. Some websites won't even let you continue on their website unless you pay or allow ads. So that's just a heads up. If you want to block something um, manually, right click or control click something and go down to block element. Click that and you add it and it blocks it for you. So, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And let me know if it worked or if it didn't. And I can help you if it didn't. So, thank you so much and have a great day.